Hello everyone, welcome to scardia.com and in this section we will talk about B9 ovarian neoplasm. In this benign ovarian neoplasm, we will talk about the classification of benign neoplasm of the ovaries versus mucinous and serous cyst adenomas, Brenner tumor, and dermoid cyst. Now, the benign ovarian neoplasm, they are classified according to their um, uh, tissues or cells present. They are divided or classified into four main types. First is the epithelial tumor, which constitute about 60 to 70% of all benign ovarian neoplasms. So epithelial tumors are the most common type of benign ovarian neoplasms. Then the second type is sex cord stromal tumor, which is 6 to 10%. Then we have lipid cell tumor. Then the last type is germ cell tumor of the ovary, which is about 20 to 25%. So epithelial tumors are uh, further subdivided into uh, serous tumor, serous tumor, mucina, mucinous cyst adenomas, endometrioid tumors, and then we have mesonephroid or clear cell tumors, then Brenner tumors. All these are the types of epithelial tumors of the ovary. Then we have uh, mixed epithelial tumors, undifferentiated and unclassified. These are the three types which are not very clearly differentiated in which uh, classification they should uh, fit in. And they have mixed epithelial, undifferentiated and unclassified epithelial tumor. So epithelial tumors are the most common ovarian tumor. These are of serious type, mucinous cyst adenomas, endometrioid, mesonephroid or clear cell tumors, and then the Brenner tumors. Then in the sex cord stromal uh, tumors of the ovary, which constitute about 6 to 10 percent of all B9 ovarian tumor, we have granulosa cell tumor, tumor of thecoma fibroma group, and then the androblastoma tumors. These are the type of um, uh, sex cord stromal tumors. In the sex cord stromal tumors in the group of thecoma and fibroma group is thecoma and fibroma. And then there is again unclassified type. So undifferentiated, unclassified comes in all these groups because there are some growths or tumors in which the cells are not very clearly differentiated. So they cannot be fit in any group or class. Uh, class. So they come under the unclassified or undifferentiated. Then in the lipid cell, uh, androblastoma of the, uh, here if you see the andro androblastoma, which is a type of sex cord stromal tumor, androblastoma is further subdivided into Sertoli cell, uh, tumor, Sertoli latex cell tumor, and Hylus cell tumor. So these are the subtypes of the androblastoma. Subtypes of thecoma or fibroma is thecoma, fibroma, unclassified. Subclassification of androblastoma is Sertoli cell tumor, Sertoli latex cell, and Hylus cell tumor. Then we have uh, the lipid cell tumor. Lipid cell tumor is uh, grouped into gynandroblastoma and unclassified. So these are the two types of lipid cell tumor. 
Then the other type is germ cell tumor of the ovary, which constitute about 20 to 25 percent. In these germ cell tumors, we have uh, germ cell tumors, dysgerminoma. Then we have endodermal sinus tumor, embryonal cell carcinoma, poly. Uh, polyembryoma, uh, then we have teratoma, mixed form, tumor composed of germ cell and sex cords, stromal der uh, der derivatives, then we have gonadoblastoma, unclassified and secondary metastasis. These are the all types, different types under the germ cell uh, tumors of the ovary. Then the teratoma is again of uh, three types. One is immature teratoma, mature teratoma, and monodermal teratoma. In the monodermal teratoma, we have stroma, ovaria, and carcinoid. And then the uh, tumor composed of germ and sex cord, we have gonadoblastoma and mixed germ cell sex cord stromal tumor. So these are all different types of ovarian neoplasms. Most common are epithelial tumors, then the germ cell tumors in which we have germ cell tumors, dysgerminoma, endodermal cell tumor, embryonal cell tumor, and then teratomas. Teratomas can be mature and immature, or they can be monodermal type of uh, teratomas. In the sex called stromal, we have thecomas, fibromas, and unclassified types. These are different, lot of different types of uh, ovarian tumors depending on the cells from which they originate and their classification is depend on the microscopic exp uh, appearance of the tissue removed from the ovaries. So they are classified depending on the tissues from they grow or develop. The mucinous cyst adenoma, usually mucinous cyst adenoma arise from totipotent surface epithelium. Totipotent, totipotent are the cells uh, which are the like stem cells. Stem cells, they have the ability to uh, develop or give rise to different types of the uh, cells. So totipotent are the stem cells that give rise to different types of the cells. So mucinous cyst adenomas, they develop from the totipotent surface epithelium layer. Origin as mucinous metaplasia of epithelioid cells. So they, as we mentioned in the last slide, that uh, mucinous cyst adenoma, they develop from the epithelial cells. And it's a common 60 to 70 percent mucinous cyst adenoma, they result from metaplasia or changes in the epithelial uh, cells, epithelioid cells of the uh, ovary. Uh, which are the uh, uh, present on the uh, surface layer. So these are the uh, in arrows disc shows the mucinous cyst adenoma. These are the cysts with the muc mucus filled in this mucus cyst adenoma. This is the naked appearance of the mucus cyst adenoma. Lot of cysts. And this is the actual um, uh, specimen of the mucinous cyst adenomas. Then the microscopic examination of the cyst adenomas. These are all the cysts you can see and they, that's how they appear under the microscope. These are the Next, the serous cyst adenoma 
arise again from the totipotent surface epithelium of the ovary like this mucinous cyst adenomas serous cyst adenomas also develop from the epithelial layer and very very common uh, 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 adenomas mucinous and serous cyst and this is the uh, microscopic appearance that gives you the serous cyst adenoma. These are the cells. These are the cells in which the serous uh, cysts are formed. Mucinous cysts have a mucus filled cyst and the serous cysts are the serous clear fluid filled cyst. Again, totipotent cells, they are the cells uh, that are the stem cells. They have the ability to give rise to different types of the cells. So totipotent, when totipotent cells are present on the surface epithelium, they can give rise to different types of the cells. Mucinous and serous cyst adenomas both develop from the totipotent cells. This is the naked eye appearance of the serous cyst adenoma, very smooth serous filled cyst and they can be huge big cysts that can be formed. Okay, in this um, slide you can see it's a, a slide showing the Brenner tumor. Brenner tumor is again, uh, it developed from, is a subtype of uh, surface epithelial stromal tumor and it, it develops from the epithelial of the ovary also. So that's how it appears. Uh, this is the actual specimen removed of the Brenner tumor. It's a subtype of the surface epithelial uh, stromal tumor. Then the dermoid cyst. Dermoid cyst is arise from the germ cell. So dermoid cyst is the germ cell tumor of the ovary. And this is the uh, picture or diagram showing the dermoid cyst. Dermoid cysts contain different types of the tissues. It contains the uh, hair for, uh, tissue, it contains the nail tissue, it contains the teeth. So different types of uh, um, uh, tissues are present in the dermoid cyst. Here in this picture also it gives the, uh, uh, shows the hair growth or hair presence. So dermoid cyst uh, is the, this is the normal right ovary here. In this, uh, uh, it's a, a picture of the actual uh, picture, I think maybe on laparoscopy. This is the bowel, uterus, fallopian tube. This is the normal ovary and this is the ovary with the dermoid cyst present. This is the naked appearance of the dermoid cyst, uh, hair present, then we have the bone tissue present, uh, teeth present, different areas. So different tissues, dermoid cyst is, uh, or dermoid tumor is mainly composed of different tissues which include hairs, which include the muscle, bone, different tissues are present. That was all about the, uh, the the tumors of the bean uh, ovaries in which we covered in detail what are the different tumors and uh, epithelial are most common. Then we talked about the germ cell tumor, lipid cell tumor. So all these are the different types of the uh, tumors that present in the ovary. So thank you for watching Scardia.com.